Hello engineers, it's me, Jack, back here with another Fusion 360 tutorial. Um, this is the big one here, because everyone was asking me about how to create the stamp plate here. Here's an example of mine. Um, this is the, a stamp plate that fits into an interchangeable stamp. Um, so you can slide in your stamp and be able to stamp it, um, whatever you put on it. So I have my name here in a little check mark. So I'll be showing you how to do this. Alright, so um, first step you want to do is again create a new file. I'll go a little faster this time because I went over this in the previous one. Go here, new design, and then save your design, give it a name. Um, oh, whoops, I misspelled stamp. And again, make sure to put uh, that you're in Miss Herkert's engineering class and that you're in period seven, uh, or if you are, so just put that up there. And I also highly recommend that you put your name in there too, so that uh, we uh, that you know it's yours. So yeah, go ahead and give it a name, save it. It should appear up here. Now, as always, step one is to create a new sketch right here. It's this button square with a little plus sign. Go ahead and click that, and the three planes will plop out. Now, last time it didn't really matter which one you were gonna do, you, which one you clicked on, because we were just making a cube. But this time, you don't want your stamp sideways. You want it to be like on the ground. So this time, pick any plane except the X Y plane. So either this one or this one. Um, for example, I'll just pick this one right here. Just as long as you don't pick the XY plane, uh, it will be fine, and it won't be facing like straight up or anything weird like that. Okay, so what we want to do here is create a trapezoid. So just grab your line tool right up here. You can just press the L key on your keyboard, or you can click on this little uh, shape up here, the line tool. And what we want to do is go from the origin. You click the origin. And you go out, or you you drag out a line here, and just drag it however long. It doesn't really matter, um, and form a trapezoid shape. All you need to make sure of, uh, oh, and then the whoops, and you can just press Escape to get rid of the line tool, or just click and then, all right, yeah, just press Escape and the line tool will go away. Um, okay, so now that you have your trapezoid, all you need to make sure is that the bottom line is on the uh, um, the x-axis, and the top line is parallel with the bottom line, and that these lines kind of slope in to make it trapezoid shaped. And once you get that, you can zoom in. Uh, I made it kind of small, but um, yeah, so it just has to look like a trapezoid. It doesn't matter that much. We're going to dimension it now. So this is the sketch dimension tool. Just click on that. It's like two lines with an arrow in the middle. Um, and go ahead and select the this base right here. Um, we're gonna make the base 35. Uh, whoops, 35 millimeters. Uh, it should automatically fill millimeters, but if it doesn't, type it. Um, and now the base is exactly 35 millimeters. So make sure uh, your base is 35 millimeters. Um, these sides are going to be five millimeters. Now, when you're doing a slanted line, um, be very careful that your thing looks like this, where it's kind of like attached to the line. If you go too far out, then it measures the um, the height of your shape instead of the length of this line. So make sure you're kind of within this triangle here. Um, otherwise, it'll like think you're trying to measure the whole shape instead of just this line. So as long as it kind of looks like this, you're good. So just click somewhere um, close to the line, but not too close that it's like on top of the line, but just like, you know, here-ish. Um, and this is going to be 5 millimeters. So now you have 35 long and 5 high. Now let's set the angle of the, uh, this angle right here. To do that, um, it's a little bit tricky to make an angle. You click the bottom line, and then you click this line. 
and now you see that they're both highlighted and it's giving the option to do an angle. So now that you have the angle, just click somewhere and it will give you the option to do the angle. We want it to be 70 degrees. And again, it should automatically make it degrees, but if it doesn't, go ahead and type that in. Um, do the same thing over here, click this line, click this line, it'll give you an angle, click here, and 70 degrees. Um, now we don't have to mention the top because the top is already constrained based on everything else. Like there's only one length that the top can be if the bottom is 35 and these angles are seven and these are five long. Uh, so the top is all good. See, it's turned black to signify that it's been dimensioned. Um, okay, so now that you have this um, trapezoid here, go ahead and click the finish sketch button up here. It's this check mark inside a green circle. And it will bring you back out to the main view. If it doesn't, just click the little house icon and it will bring you back out here. So now, um, oh yeah, and this house icon up here, so or this rotating thing, it allows you to rotate around. It's kind of hard to see what's going on here. Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to see what's going on here because this is a flat thing, but um, this can allow you to pivot around your sketch and to go back to the center, you click this little house icon. Um, okay, so now that we see our thing, our um, trapezoid here, it's a little slanted, but um, You'll see why in a second. You want to use this extrude tool, or you can click the E key on your keyboard. It's this little like uh, rectangular prism. So go ahead and click that, and it will allow you to extrude your thing. So just pull it out a bit. See, so yeah, you can see why it's at an angle now. This is the shape, um, and you want to extrude it by 90 millimeters. So there we go. And here is your interchangeable stamp plate. Uh, this is just an empty plate, though. We want to actually put text on it. So make sure that you're here, um, and you have this. And once you do, um, we can continue. So the next step is we're going to create another sketch with the Create Sketch again. So click on that. Now instead of picking one of the three planes here, we want to pick the top of our stamp, because we want to draw on the top of the stamp. We don't want to create a new object. So just click on the top of the stamp, and it will bring you over here. Some, uh, your thing might be rotated like, um, like this. If this happens and you see like this weird rotated stamp plate instead, um, just come up here and um, click these little two rotating arrows up here and rotate it back so that it, the origin is in the bottom left corner and you have your thing uh, like this. Um, or you could just click the top. And of this cube, if it's rotated weirdly, you, uh, or if it's like weirdly rotated like this, uh, then you can just simply click the top of the cube, the little thing that says top, and it brings it back over here, and then you can rotate it into place. So make sure that you're looking straight down at the top like this, and once you're here, uh, we can continue. So what you want to do now is click this create. Uh, menu right here. It's underneath all of the line and square and dimension tools. It says create and it will open up this menu of all the different things you can create. We want to pick text right here. It has a little A next to it um, and now we can create text. But first we have to define where our text is going to go on the stamp. Um, I want my text to take up the whole stamp so I'll select about this region. You have to give it a little bit of padding so it's not right up against the edge of the stamp because that can cause some problems and sometimes the um, if it's a little too close to the edge it might go over the edge which is no good and you won't be able to print that. So make sure that your square is a little bit smaller than the whole stamp top because you see some of the text is like slightly over the red line. Um, but uh, yeah, this size, if you just want to make it this size, that's good. All right, so what text should I put? I'll put uh, tutorial. There we go. That's a, that's a cool word. I'll put that there. Uh, obviously, put your own word. Don't put tutorial. That's a boring stamp. But OK, now that you have your word here, you need to you know, make it fit the stamp. So go over here to height and change the height. I recommend somewhere between 10 and 20. So this looks about 18. Yeah, 18 is good. 
so yeah, 18 fits within the stamp pretty well. Um, and yeah, just play around with it. You can mess with the alignment if you want to be centered off to the left, right, uh, align the middle, or uh, wherever. Just play around with it, figure out what looks good. I'm good with this. Uh, okay, so once you've got, and you can also change the character spacing if you want, like if you want the letters to be wide, uh, wider. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't mess with that, I don't know how it works. But, okay, so yeah, now, now that you have your letters here, you want to click this little triangle here that says horizontal underneath flip. And what that will do is it will make your text go backwards. Um, the reason you want this is because when you're stamping, uh, the stamp is facing, is, is backwards. So, it's complicated, but yeah, you, all you need to know is that it needs to be flipped like this. Otherwise, the stamp will not work. Or, well, it will work, but your text will be backwards when it's stamped out. So, make sure that, um, the text is mirrored like this. So, yeah, just make sure that it's flipped, um, horizontally. I mean, it could be flipped vertically, but that... Then you have to flip your stamp up, blah, 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 blah. So just choose horizontal, um, and you're all good. It should look like that. And then click OK. And now you have your text here. OK, if you want to add any other shapes, you can go ahead and do that. Like, if you want to add a circle right here, uh, you can add, like, a custom dot on your eye or whatever. Like, oh, well, I want, like, a little circle here. Um. Uh, yeah, something like that I want. And But be careful if you want to make um, shapes not like a circle. If you want to make a line, you can't just put a line like this. That won't do anything. You have to make a 3D shape. So, um, like a rectangle or something like this. So don't just add lines. They have to be actual shapes. Uh, just so you know. So I'll just add a custom little circle over the eye, uh, just to demonstrate. Okay, so once you got that, go ahead and finish sketch right here, and you'll have your um, text on your stamp. So now what you want to do is go to the extrude button again. Um, here it is, and click on your tutorial or or um, your text right here. And you also want your or oh, whoops, yeah, to click on your text, it should select everything, and even the other shapes that you made, and when you pull it up, or maybe it didn't select the other shape. Hmm, well, I guess uh, other shapes, um, maybe you shouldn't put them inside of the text field, put them outside of the text field, or you could just make them separate sketches, it doesn't really matter. For now, I'll just leave the circle there, it's not that important. Um, give it a good extrusion distance. I recommend maybe one or half a millimeter, half to one a millimeter. So like half a millimeter. That looks like a good amount. Uh, you can make it a little more if you want. Or uh, I wouldn't recommend less than half a millimeter. Less than that is probably won't stamp very well. So half a millimeter minimum. Uh, if you want to do like one millimeter. Go ahead if you want like an extra stampy stamp, but half a millimeter should be good enough. Okay, so once you're done, click OK, and there you go. You have your stamp with text on it. Um, and you, then you can follow. Oh, right, make sure to save your file. Let's go ahead and save. Say uh, let's say what you did. I uh, added tutorial text. Okay. Um. And then to export it, you just go to File, Export, it takes you to the website, uh, you download the file, submit to Google Classroom, all that good stuff. Uh, I can help you with that in class, but um, I'm on my computer right now, so I will m I can't show you that um, because I'm using the desktop version of Fusion 360, not the Chromebook one, so the export process will be different. Um, yeah, but I hope this was helpful, um, and you learned how to make the stamp plate. Uh, if you want to make the stamp, it's the whole stamp, uh, go ahead. There's, the tutorial is on Google Classroom for the whole thing. I will not be covering it because it is optional uh, to make that. You don't have to make it. 
But, um, yeah, so I know a lot of people were having trouble with this. I hope my tutorial could help. Um, and um, make sure to like and subscribe for other tutorials. And ring the bell, you know, give the video a like. Um, share it with your friends. All that jazz. Uh, and I'll see you, en all you engineers, next time. Goodbye.